So, how did this come about? Well, it was about three or four years ago now that the LSO approached me for an orchestral piece. Anything really, they asked me, you know, um, relatively carte blanche. And the first thing I said was, I would love to write you a concerto. It was the first idea that came to my mind. Really, really? Yeah, really, really, really. Really? <laughs> um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's where the, the seed was sown. And um, we got back in touch with them and they, they liked the idea. And then we obviously spoke to you. And So the question is, three or four years ago, did you have an idea for what you wanted your violin concerto to sound like? Because you're probably not going to write you might write one more or what's the most violin concertos anybody's written but you know it's not I mean it's a moment to write your first violin concerto exactly yeah um and I, I knew it was it was going to be a significant piece yeah I wanted it to be a statement of sorts you know I wanted it to be something that you would really love to play love and relish and like get into and also that would be something for you to you know, to, to, to showcase your talent, to showcase your, your brilliance. And so um, that, there was that, and also this is my first commission for the LSO as well. Oh. So it was a relatively, yeah, high stakes, I would say. <laughs> um, so but in terms of the sound that has now been created, like, was that something that it, it basically came to you when it was the moment to start writing, as opposed to when you knew years ago that you were going to write a violin concerto, did you have something in your head? Yeah, there were no musical ideas at that no, point. No. There was a sense of the occasion, there was a sense mm. of the significance of like what I wanted it to be mm. and where I wanted it to kind of get to and stuff. So, but the actual notes didn't come till maybe a year, eight, uh, 18 months ago. Mm. Um, so now we're at the point where I have all notes and a full score and um, the scale and uh, magnitude on every single possible measurable level. So from a kind of like the, the fullness and intensity of the mo emotion um, from the very opening chord to the actual scale of it, like the 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 length and, and breadth and size to the orchestration um like from my whole time of knowing you from the first time that i met you way back when probably uh, bbc bbc yeah young musician yeah, of the year yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah um it just seems so like that's the only way a concerto, a violin concerto of yours could ever be. <laughs> Just like the fullest of everything in every possible way. <laughs> um, well, I th yeah, I mean, I, I suppose the, there was a sense that I, I, I kind of reached a point in my work and also that the, this, this commission being what it was, the piece for you and the LSO, I, I, it was a kind of convergence of, of feeling, um, kind of really comfortable in the musical language that mm -hmm. I was kind of in working with at that, yeah. you know, moment. And also being very um, comfortable with kind of opening my heart in the, in the mm. music. Um, and it's something which I've kind of been, um, you know, really kind of uh, uh, just, just, just going with. Um, mm. I, I can I just say so I, I I just loved like speaking to you through the process of you writing it. There were so many moments that were you speaking as if there's actually a force that is totally out with your control. Mm -hmm. It's like a force of what is being conceived is is at play, and you are you actually have no choice mm -hmm. but to allow that to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, there's there's a f there's only like a handful of times that that's happened really, mm. I would say in my life with my work. Um, uh, I think that the, the, the situation with the COVID lockdowns mm. and the disappearance of all my performing work mm. meant that I actually only had this to do. Mm. And for me as well, it was a kind of way of surviving through mm. that whole period, mm. um, just to, to, to gradually just, just 
stop interacting with the world as it was and and kind of really just 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 look inward mm. um i remember when i'd finished the piece it, it felt as though i'd just kind of come out of, of this in a sense like a kind of um, a hibernation from interacting with the world but also i'd been through this a really incredibly emotional process of, of 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 like an intense outpouring of something or other um but again yeah i i think you know i was like a witness to it really or just yeah. kind of a, a you know a vehicle for it yeah. um as you know having played so much of other people's music and learned so many pieces for the first time there's always that um real trepidation when it's new of the majority of the worry is, am I going to love this piece? Like, to me, that's actually the only real question. Am I going to have a dialogue with it that is going to make the amount of work that you know is in front of you um, a, a, an experience of um, not just pleasure, but that sort of like enrichment when you just want more and more of something. Um, and, and the other thing is, to me, in terms of like harmonic, and melodic language that you get um, that it's not familiar, but it's it becomes something that you feel like you know, as opposed to that that kind of strange kind of abstract distance. And what was really in, what's been really interesting for me is that quite quickly I felt like I got into a sense of familiarity with the whole expressive world and then harmonic world and then the melodic world um so i i was lulled quite fast into this slight false sense of security like oh okay this sort of makes sense to me now <laughs> and then <laughs> And then, and then, and then, which is also the hallmark of great music, when you start to peel away layer after layer after layer, and actually the um, density and complexity of it actually starts to reveal itself more mm. and more and more. And that's like, I'm just having that experience right. so much with your piece, which to me is like the perfect mix of things, so there's the 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 that kind of love and and feeling of knowing and familiar, like I can identify with this. Mm -hmm. But then there's this constant like, oh, there's this and oh, there's this and oh my god, and, and now there's this and now there's that, and so it's a bit overwhelming, but in the best possible way. And the thing that's that's amazing about that feeling is that you know your relationship to it will be lifelong because it will be continuing mm. to evolve and because what's in there is is kind of an an, an endless like deepening of stuff so mm. i like for me that's um i just feel unbelievably grateful <laughs> you know to 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 be having this experience mm. um and yeah, I'm grateful to London Symphony Orchestra for making it happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, likewise, you know, having the opportunity to write with you, work with you, write for you, considering, you know, how incredibly busy you are with everything. is, wow. um, <laughs> And also, you know, first time working for LSO for me. But the, the thing, one of the things I wanted to pick up on what you were talking about there is mm -hmm. this, the idea of of embodying the work mm -hmm. and um, making it a part of you. Yeah. I think. It, it reminds me of, of a performance of the Brahms Violin Concerto I saw you play um, with uh, was London Mozart players, with, mm. it was Leonard uh, Olshenbroek was conducting. And um, I, I've got to be honest and say it's the only time I've ever cried at a performance. Mm. And, oh. and, I, and I'm, I go to so many concerts, yeah. well I did before everything yeah. was kind of shut down. Yeah. I went to so many concerts and did so many concerts and I never, I was never touched so much that it, 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 it brought me to tears. And there was a, I spent like, a, I mean, I came to you in the interval. Yeah. <laughs> I just was like, I know, I was what so happened? overwhelmed. But the yeah. thing was, I, I spent a time, I spent a period of time that like really actually asking myself the question about what, what was it at that moment that made, that touched my soul to such an extent that, it, it was it was a kind of peeling away or a kind of purifying of mm -hmm. of 
of things that I'd been thinking about or whatever. But um, I think some of the, the conclusions that I came to were, I think, um, one of the things that I, I think distinguishes you from from like so, you know so many other violinists is this kind of um, uh, that you don't have any sense of ego at all. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's actually I, I think at some point on that in in that piece there was like a moment of 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 like ego death or something that you you the whole kind of physical um realm of the music making the instruments the people actually kind of paled away and we got to like a a, a higher level of 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 essentially kind of transcendence spiritual connection to what brahms was trying to imbue in his music you get to the actual depth of the soul of the piece and so to be able to understand that um whether it's consciously or unconsciously but to be able to to connect so deeply with a piece that actually everything pales away and you're you're just giving the listener just a pure communion with 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 in this case Brahms or the composer I'd ne that never happened before and I, and I thought it was like one of the most kind of like astonishing yeah. musical experiences that I'd ever had and so uh, there was there were times when I was when I was you know working on this and I and and that moment was um you know it was very present for me during the whole mm -hmm. writing process and so there was a sense that well if if I could bear my soul musically mm -hmm to such an extent. <laughs> well, you have in abundance. I just I just pray that I can do it some justice um, because it it just deserves, you know, the most full performance. <laughs>